All right, so this is the time in the, in the live show. For those who watch live for the Striving for Eternity Academy, we do a spiritual transition game where we play and people that are live in the listening audience in the chat room give me something to transition to the gospel from whatever they give me. Uh, I've actually been given two different things to do a transition from, and I have to combine them in one and then transition from that one to the gospel. So this is going to be a little bit tricky and someone thinks that I cannot do it. Let's see how I can do. All right, so the, the topic for today is skunks and worms. Skunks and worms. All right, how are you going to do that? Let's see. Well, what do we know? I mean, most people, skunks actually aren't that, they, they could make a nice pet if you remove that chemical that they secrete that gives you that smell when they get nervous. Uh, some people actually have them as pets, but most people don't even consider it. Why? Because they have a defense mechanism that was created by God that allows them to avoid being attacked. That if they're running away from an, an, a predator, they lift up their tail and out of the back of their tail, they squirt a scent that is just horrible. If you have ever smelt the skunk smell, you understand what it is. And and it just has that that smell of ickiness. I don't know if that's the best word, but it's you understand what I mean. That smell just it, it's it's offensive. Uh, you know, and, and that is a thing that just immediately puts us off. You know, for some people, worms are a similar thing. You know, some people don't mind fishing, like say my wife, but my wife will not put the worms on the hook. That's my job. And so the reality is some people just think of worms as these icky things. I remember when I was really little, my brother told me that the really red worms were blood suckers and that they would attach to your skin if you picked them up and they'd suck your blood. And so I had this notion that worms were bad. I had an immediate negative reaction to worms. If I saw a worm, I wanted to avoid it. If I smelled a skunk, I wanted to avoid it. Why? Because it, it had an immediate reaction within me that I recognized this is something bad. Now the worms actually were harmless, but my conscience told me this is bad. You know, and God gives us a conscience so we can know right from wrong. We know good from bad. Problem is, is that many people, they sear their conscience. So they think that bad is good and good is bad. That's what we have in our culture right now. And so what ends up happening is people think good is bad and they end up getting right up to the skunk and thinking, it's so cute, it won't harm me, and then they get sprayed. Yuck. The reality is, is that we have that because we can think that a, a worm which is harmless is actually a bad thing when it's really harmless. The reality is we have to have a right conscience, a conscience that is informed from God's Word. That is what's going to tell us right from wrong, biblically, properly, according to God's standard, who is the only standard. And so the reality is when we see things that we know are wrong, we should run from it the way we would a skunk. We wouldn't get see how close we can come to a skunk. We run away and try to avoid it because we don't want to get sprayed. Same exact thing we should do with sin. We should be trying to avoid it, but the reality is we can't. We're born with a sin nature, and because of that, we sin. And that sin makes us criminals in God's sight. And when we are seen as criminals in God's sight, we will pay an eternal fine because God is infinitely holy. And that's why that fine is an infinite fine. It is because of that that we need the grace of God. What He did on that cross, when Jesus Christ, God in flesh, died on the cross and became a payment of sin for us, He sets us free by what He did on that cross. That's how I would transition from skunks and worms to the gospel. How would you go about doing it? Give it a shot. See how you might.